I know, I bet some of you guys are reading the title and you're all like, why isn't this tutorial come out yet? Well, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just so lazy. I'm so lazy. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another violent tutorial. Uh, this one I have been requested uh, many, many times by some of you guys, but and it's been like a few months, so I was I'm really sorry that I did not get this uploaded pretty soon or like you know pre-recorded. This sh this should have been done a long time ago. And if you guys already saw by the title of the video, I'm gonna be doing the the 16 note run of Mirror Haas before the you know the upbeat chorus part and. This one is going to be uh, hopefully a short tutorial because the first eight measures and the next eight measures are pretty much the same. It's just like the last measure, or pretty much the last two measures that's different. And I'm going to be showing you guys how exactly how to do it, break it down note by note, rhythm by rhythm, and everything else. So let's do. Now the first thing in the song is that it's... Um, at a G major kind of thing, so you're only dealing with one sharp, and that is the F sharp, either the first finger on the E string. Oh, why am I mute still on? It's either the first finger on the E string, the second finger on the D string. Pretty much those are the only two F sharps you have to deal with. You don't have to deal with up here. Another thing to keep in mind about this song is that it is in 128 beats per minute, which is like Lindsay's usual, uh, typical upbeat tempo or whatever. Um, now the first measure is going to be slightly complicated because you're dealing with two dotted eighth notes and then a quarter note. And then the first two notes would be the B and the F sharp. But in this tutorial I'm going to be doing like my own fingerings like when I hear the glissandos a slide like that. I'm just going to be teaching you guys where to pl uh, place your fingers. And then later on, if you guys like um, can't figure that out, then I can do like the easier version. We're gonna start is your second finger on the E string, playing the B at a down bow, and then slide to the first finger F, just like that. You get that nice slide. And then after that is the quarter note G that I just played. So it's like this. And pretty much the last one and a half beats of this measure is a set of two 16 notes followed by a set of four 16 notes all slurred up bow. And that's a G starting on second finger, A, third finger, G, F sharp, E, cross over to the A to uh, make a D using your third finger. So it would be like six notes total. If I were to play the whole measure, it would sound like like that. The next measure is going to be uh, three sets of four 16 notes, and the way they're bowed, at least the way I bow them, is uh, not that complicated. It's just slurred, separate, slurred, separate, and then all separate. So it would be if you got that down, up, down, up, down, up and then down, up, down, up. Anyway, those notes were B, which is your first finger on the A string, and then D, and then B again, and then open A. G, which is the third finger on the D string, going up bow, slurred with the fourth finger A, and then G again, F sharp, and then the last set of the 16th note is just E all the way up to A, so E, F, G, A. So it would be like, Actually, I do open A. Because the next note after that would be the B, which is your first finger. And then, what I do with the gliss is, after I hit that B note, I place my second finger right where the G is on the E string, and then shift to third position to hit the high B. Like this. Anyways, the next measure is going to be a quarter note A going down. A set of four sixteen notes, F sharp, G, F sharp, open E. And then the last two beats is going to be, uh, 
I wouldn't say not that complicated, but it's an eighth note and then a sixteenth, 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 and an eighth note. So a total of six uh, notes. The eighth note would be a D going down bow. And then the four sixteenth notes and the last eighth note is all slurred up bow. And it's E, F, E, D, and then B. So if I were to play that whole measure, it would be like... Next measure after that is going to be three sets of four sixteenth notes, um, all separated. And it would sound like... And the notes are B, C, B, open A, G, four finger A, G, F, E, F, G, open A. The last beat would be B. Slide your finger down to make a B flat. And then up bow, eighth note, A. So that last note, or the last beat would sound like If you notice how my uh, first finger is sliding from B natural to B flat. If I were to play the whole measure, it would sound like. And if I were to play it like normally fast, it would sound like. Just like that. And then um, for the next measure, what I would do is I start my third finger on the B, which is on the D string uh, in third position, slide down to the F sharp, second finger, and then those two notes are dotted eighth notes, followed by a G eighth note, regular eighth note, tied with another G eighth note in the next beat, and then there's going to be... Five notes slurred up bow, which is going to be a 16th, 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 and then eighth note, I can't use my thumb, which is E, D, open D, E again, F, and then eighth note G. So it sounds like. That was an up bow, by the way, actually. Again, those last five notes were. E, D, E, F, G. If I play it slowly. I'm not sure if I was in the right timing, but you get the idea. The uh, next measure is going to be a set of uh, four sixteen notes. E, G, A, B, all separate. And then D, eighth note going down bow. Sixteenth, G, open A. And then another set of four sixteen notes, B, D, E, F sharp, and then G. This is going to be uh, two eighth notes at the last measure, G, <clears throat> which is your second finger. And then you have to shift to third position in order to hit the note, C. And then those last two eighth notes were slurred up both, so it's like... Next measure after that is going to be a quarter note, a dotted quarter note, B. Followed by an eighth note, C, and then quarter note, quarter note, B, and then G. And if you want, you can slide down. And the last measure of the uh, first half would be, well, pretty much the first two beats, they're just like double sixteenth notes. And it's just A, F sharp. Uh, D sharp, which is also known as E flat, and that's your high third finger on the A string, as opposed to the normal third finger D natural. Instead, it's a D sharp, which is a, a half step higher. So, anyways, it was A, F, D sharp, open E, and then A, G, F, E, D sharp again, E, F. And then G. So in that measure, it was all 16th notes, and they're all separate. I guess you could use your like low fourth finger if you want to. 
I'm just more comfortable personally using my uh, high third finger instead of my low fourth finger. Okay, so the next part of <clears throat> next part of the eight measures, they're all exactly the same. At least the first six measures are exactly the same, except the last two measures. Remember when I said that um, it was a dotted quarter note B, and then a eighth note C, and then B and G. In the second half, they're all quarter notes, so it's they're all constant beat instead of if you heard the the first B note was held longer and then the note C was quicker instead of because that part is in the second half so that's not much of a difference and then the last measure of the second half is again A F sharp D sharp but instead of an open E, it is an F sharp. And then A, G, F, E, and then two double 16 notes, F sharp, and then G. So I'm going to be playing uh, these two measures, and I want you guys to hear the uh, difference. And then... One more time. And so that was pretty much all the, I mean, I didn't really cover all 16 measures, but I feel like I didn't have to because uh, in the first six measures of each, of each half is exactly the same. It's just the last two measures of each of the half that's uh, slightly different. And then this one. Okay, now that we got through, you know, pretty much the all 16 measures, uh, like my other tutorials, we're going to start off slow and then build our way up to the actual tempo. And I keep saying that all the time in all my tutorials. I bet it's really boring. What we're going to start off is like half the speed, then the original tempo. So it's, um, you know, twice as slow. Okay, so in between that cut, I just played like the first eight measures, and now I'm starting to get familiar on what half the speed sounds like. So, if you guys are ready, then follow along. And these are, this is uh, the speed of the eighth notes, not the quarter notes. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Let's move this up to a little bit faster. Maybe like one, two, three, four, one, two. Are you ready? One, two, one, two, ready, go.
this up like one, two, one, two, three, four. Ready? One, two, one, two, ready, go. Oh my god, the string broke, oh no, oh no, the string broke, I'm not gonna cut this part, oh no, oh fuck, oh shit. And I don't have an E string, oh. God damn it. So the string broke and the E string broke. So I can, I mean, I could still play the violin, but like, really, it's, oh my God. Good thing I was able to record most of the tutorial, at least. We didn't get to the full speed version, but I hope you, like, I hope this really helped. Now I'm just, oh crap. I thought I had an E string to replace, but I guess not. So now I'm actually, Oh my god, dang it. I'm really, really sorry this happened, guys. I just... <sighs> now I need to buy a new E string, so... Uh, so once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll... The next violin video you'll see will probably be, like, way later. Just whenever I get a chance to uh, get a new E string. Ah, damn it. So thank you guys again one more time, and until next time, stay awesome. Bye-bye.